love y'all. I bought this Barbie bedroom set on Amazon a few weeks back. On Amazon, it was listed as Barbie doll bedroom playset indoor furniture playset doll, wearing pajamas and accessories. I thought it was pretty cute and a great candidate for a versus. Yeah! But first, let's open this so we can see what we're working for. On the back of the box, we can see all of the items included. That's a really cool looking headboard. Let's get this out of the box for a closer look. Out of the box, some light assembly is required. We have to attach this gold colored headboard and it just fits right into the top of the bed. The comforter is taped down. So let's just remove the tape. Ooh, do it carefully. Oh man, I messed up my pineapples. The bed itself is plastic. It has little feet at the top and the bottom. It looks like a sheet has been folded over. There's a texture here. The headboard has a gold color with a cool little sunburst design. The comforter feels like a fuzzy micro fleece on one side. It's white on the other. The stitching is a printed detail with shadowing. It's orange and pink with a pineapple theme. It hangs over on the sides just a little and we can fold over the top. It is a curl just a little bit so we could iron that to make it flat. Or we can just tuck it under like they did in the packaging. The included pillow is a real pillow. Yeah! It has a large tag on the side, so I'm just gonna cut that off. It measures a little under three inches when flattened by, what is that? Almost two inches. It fits nicely on the bed, but I don't really like seeing where I cut off the tag, so let's flip it over. Oh man. On this side, we can see where they closed it, so I guess we're just gonna have to pick and choose which one we wanna deal with. The bed is about five inches wide, a little over 12 inches long, and five and a half inches tall. So the included doll can lay stretched out. The included doll has brown hair with a side part, nice clean brown eyes, a soft pink lip color, she wears an orange nightgown with cacti. It has ribbon straps and no closure in the back. She has the classic Barbie body type with flat feet and the basic five points of articulation with movement at the head, the shoulder, and the hip. She comes with a pair of pink house shoes. There's a little room in them, so just be careful. You don't want a Cinderella situation. We have magazines. It looks like the same edition. It's Chic Chic Magazine. It's a picture printed on a thick poster board paper. So we are just going to lay it on the bed as a prop in the room. There is a teal colored face mask. Since she has no eyelids, it will help give her a good night's sleep. And then we have our little nightstand side table. It's orange and has three accessories with little pegs on the bottom so they can stick into the table. We have a gold colored lamp, a plant in a pink pot, a yellow clock. The table is orange with a faux drawer and it has four legs, completing this playset. I think this is a pretty cute set and I can't wait to try to make something similar. Let's start with a bed. I found some scraps of foam board to use for the bed. If you don't like or have foam board, you can always use cardboard as a good substitute. This piece looks a good size for our bed. It measures 11 inches by six and a half. I'm going to cut it down to five inches. On a cutting mat with an acrylic ruler, I'm using an X-Acto knife to trim it. Then cut one and a quarter inch strips to fit the sides. Glue them underneath to make a platform. Take a piece of felt and glue it to the sides and the top. Trim off the excess and I don't wrap it over the edge. 
Now their bed is white, but I think we're gonna go with blue. I glue the fabric on, wrapping it around the side. And I'm gonna place my glue right on the seam and then press it in. I just wanna make sure I have good contact there on three of the sides. On the top of the bed, I made sure to leave some white space. Remeasure the sides. All the layering does add a little extra. I cut three more strips, sketch out a rounded trapezoid shape, cut all three, with the pencil side facing in, glue them underneath the platform. On the ones for the side, I make a small cut on the ends that is the same width as my foam board. And then I carefully peel back the paper. There we go. Then glue it to the bottom of the platform and take that paper and glue it to the piece of foam board that's right next to it. Covering the cut foam board edge giving our foam board a cleaner look. For the headboard, I'm using coffee stirs. Use a scratch piece of paper, draw out a design, cut and glue skinny sticks over the lines. I'm making a star pattern right in the center. At first, I was trying to do something a little more intricate and uh, that was like a fail. So we're just gonna play it safe and go with a simple star. I'm using tacky glue, so I have a little more time to position things, allow it to dry, paint it gold, then allow it to dry. While waiting, let's make a quick rug instead of the eye mask. We are going super simple here using felt and pom-poms and tacky glue. Cut a rectangle of felt. Mine is four by six inches. Place tacky glue around the edges of the felt then begin gluing on the pom-poms. You can choose to make a pattern. I'm just gonna let them be kind of random. Going all the way around. Well, I ended up making a pattern, even though I told myself I wasn't going to because of this. See this right here? The colors don't perfectly match up and now my pattern's off. So now we're just going to fill the center with glue gonna abandon the pattern idea and let the pom-poms fall wherever they want. We're just gonna fill in all of that space so we don't see any of the felt. To make a very colorful rug. Now let's check out that headboard and I'm not loving the center. Didn't come out quite as neat as I would like. Let's place it at the top of the bed and yeah, the center looks horrible. Totally not as good as Barbie's. But if we just put a pillow there, we can cover it up and get away with it. I use hot glue to attach the headboard. Cut two three by four inch rectangles. Stack the fabric good side to good side. Sew around the edge, leaving an opening. At first, I did a fourth of an inch seam allowance, and then I thought the pillow was too big, so I went back and did a five eighth seam allowance. Clip the corners, flip it inside out, add pillow fluff, sew the opening closed to make a pillow. Oh yeah, see, with the pillow there, my headboard looks a lot better. Pick out fabrics that match the rug, cut them into strips an inch and a half thick, and about 10 inches long, take two and lay them good side to good side, matching up the edges. Sew a straight line with a fourth of an inch seam allowance to connect them. Open it up, lay down the next color and sew across the edge. Repeat until they're all connected. Then add the same color we used for the bed on top. And I'm adding a layer of flannel on top just so we don't see the color through the bedding. Sew around the edge, leaving an opening just like the pillow, so we can flip it inside out, leaving the fleece, I'm sorry, flannel on the inside. Sew the opening closed to make a comforter for the bed. And let's add a throw pillow. Let's bring over the rug and I don't know, I'm not loving it. Okay, let's remove the rug. Change the flooring 
In the Barbie box, they had a print of a solid color fuzzy rug. So let's just cut a piece of fabric for the rug. Okay, scratch that. I went for a more traditional rainbow color. And now our rug matches better. Let's use the magazines from our hidden doll room and place them on the bed for reading material. Then let's add our fuzzy house shoes from a previous video right on the rug. Take a lid and chopsticks. Measure the chopsticks to three and a quarter inches. Cut on the line marked. Paint it to match the lid. Make four. Glue them underneath the cap to make a table. Take wire, the plastic top from a spray bottle, a bead, and two buttons. Glue the bead inside of the top. Glue a small gold button on top. Cut a small piece of wire. Curl the ends of the wire. Glue one end to the small button and the other to the larger one to make a desk lamp. I still don't know how I feel about that rug, so let's try something a little different and cut a fuzzy fleece. I cut a circle and glued it to a circle of felt, wrapping it over the edges. So when we flip it over, we have a nice rug. Toning down some of those colors and giving us a calmer look. Make one of our paper house plants from a previous video to go on the nightstand. Make a clock like the one from our Extreme Makeover Dollhouse Edition video to go on the nightstand. Now, of course, we need somewhere to store this. So let's make a hidden doll room. I am using blue foam board from Michaels that measured 20 by 30 and I already cut it down to 13 by 30. Let's flip it over because the other side is white. On the back, score a line 11 and a half inches from the edge so it can bend and snap. That is a half inch longer than we normally do, but I think we need the extra space for that bed. Repeat on the other side so we can make a trifold. I cut a floor that is 11 and a half by 18 and a half. Then I go over to the side, measure over six and a half inches, score another line so it can bend then flip it over so the bent edge is going to go into this corner. Cover the floor with paper. I'm using our light wood printable. Cut out a window on one of the walls. Let's use the package to get some plastic. Cut a rectangle that is slightly larger than the opening. Tape it onto the back. Cut the cutout into strips to glue around the window to make a window frame. Glue in the floor. I only glued it along one side and a little bit of the back wall, making sure the floor can still fold up. Cut strips of white paper. Glue them around the bottom of the wall for baseboards. Let's move in some of our stuff. Let's throw some art on the wall. So I made a rainbow room printable. So I cut out the picture that I want. Glue it onto foam board. Attach it to the wall. I used poster putty so I can take it down and change it out if I want. I used leftover foam board from the walls. I cut a piece that is 13 by 7 to 13 by 2 inch pieces, then a 2 inch strip and a 3 quarter inch strip. I'm going to glue the 13 by 2 inch pieces onto the largest piece. So I line the foam board up on the edge and score the inside so I can remove the foam. Remove the foam on both sides, then glue on the sides. Glue in the 3 fourths inch piece at the bottom, leaving a little space from the edge. Trim down the 2 inch piece and place it on top. Now we have the makings of a closet. Cut and glue in a wooden dowel to make a clothing rack where we can display our rainbow fashion. Let's cut another piece of foam board. I'm using all white to put a little shelf right above the clothing rack. Then take our Unity shoe boxes that we made last year and we can place those on top. Place the closet in the corner and when we want the room to look a little more tidy, just turn the closet around to look like a plain wall. 
that we can decorate with our neon light sign that actually glows in the dark, a few records and printable posters to make a little collage wall. I added a few Polaroids by the bed. We made the rest of our printables like the computer, the cell phone, and a composition book. Completing our rainbow themed room. And we can use our Barbie fashionista with the rainbow dress for the doll with rainbow pajamas. Well, they're not actually pajamas, but I think we could use them as pajamas. Completing our room for this versus. For the most part, I stuck to the script, y'all. I tried to create a room that was very similar to the Barbie playset, but when I messed up on the headboard, I kind of overcompensated and ended up making a whole room. But hey, I didn't make the eye mask or the PJs, so a little substituting isn't bad, right? In order to close the box, we will have to turn the closet to the side and stand up the bed because you know we love those hidden doll rooms. Let us know in the comments down below if our rainbow room came close or if it missed the mark. And I still think we can use our pom-pom rug. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time. Bye!